then you are not using any form of squelch coating. I'll get into that a little bit later. But that's what you want for this first test. So I'm on channel one. This Midland is on channel one. This Motorola is also on channel one. And it's squelch. Okay, so today's a little bit more of a boring topic, but it's still really important to understand what privacy tones are and what they're not. Let's start with what they're not. Privacy tones are not encryption. Let me say that again. Privacy tones are not encryption. Encryption is when you have one radio that receives the audio input, scrambles it up using a specific code, sends that scrambled garbled message across the airwaves to be picked up, decrypted, and then spit out by the second radio. Scrambled radios are typically what uh, public safety agencies use. A lot of police agencies use scrambled radios, whatnot. These use privacy tones. A privacy tone is a little bit of a misnomer, but it is the industry standard name for that feature. What it really means is privacy for everybody else, so you're not hearing what they're saying. Let me explain. Picture this. If you have a door that is just being held closed by a spring, if a strong wind pushes that door open, eventually the wind's gonna get through or people are gonna get through or noise is gonna get through. The spring acts as your squelch. The squelch is the feature of your radio that turns off spurious transmissions and random noise. It's set to a specific threshold just like the door has a specific spring rate. When there's enough information that is overcoming the spring rate, the door will open. The radio will open its squelch and you'll be able to hear the transmission. What privacy tones do is lock that door. That's it. They don't scramble your transmission. They don't keep other people from hearing it. If these radios are using one privacy tone and this radio is set to no privacy tone or in Motorola talk, a zero, it can still hear everything else that takes place on channel two. However, if these radios have a privacy tone set, they cannot hear what's being said unless the privacy tone of the transmitting radio is the same as the privacy tone set to each of these. Let me try and explain it this way. You have a building with a good number of doors inside. Now yeah, let's say 22 doors because there are 22 channels within the FRS or family radio service allocation. Each door is numbered one through 22. Those are our channels. Door one, channel one, door two, channel two, and so on. Every door is currently unlocked. This radio will open the door. This radio will open the door. And this radio will open the door. In this instance, we're attempting to get through door two. So now that we've established what a channel is and that it represents a door or a pathway through to the person at the other end of the communication string, what if we want to limit the access through that door? What if we want to lock it off so that only people we want to listen to are able to come through that door? That's where privacy tones come in. Privacy tones are quite simply a lock on the door. If you have the key, you can get through the door. There are two types of privacy tones. One is CT or CTCSS, and the other is DCS digital coded squelch. One is analog, one is digital. One is a key card, one is a physical key. That's it. Physical key typically is not compatible with a key card. A key card is typically not compatible with a physical key. They are simply different types of keys. That's it. 
In order to be able to communicate with other brand radios, what you need to do first is look up the owner's manual for this specific radio. In this case, this Motorola manual is available online. In that manual, there will be a chart, and that chart will say what each tone or privacy tone means, what its value is. Then you correlate that value to the value available on Rocky Talkie's manual. And when those two values match, you have a key and a lock that fit. Remember, when a radio has a privacy tone active, everybody else can hear them, but it can only hear another radio that has a matching privacy tone. Let me say that the other way. When this radio has a privacy tone, it can be heard by every other radio. It is not encrypted, it is not scrambled, it is not private. If this radio has a matching privacy tone, it can communicate with this radio, no problem. So real quickly, let me just walk you through how to set the privacy tone on this Rocky Talkie. I'm going to select channel two because that's what these are on. And I'm going to press and hold the CT button. And right now it says my privacy tone is off. I am going to use the toggle on the top and I'm going to go to privacy tone two. Tap the push to talk to select it. On this radio, I'm going to go to the menu button Tap it, channel's flashing, code is flashing, channel two, there we go. Press the push to talk and it's activated. Again, there are plenty of videos on how to set different radios for different privacy tones, but the point I wanna leave you with is remember, a privacy tone is not encryption. It does not make your conversation private. It more or less makes the other guys private because you can't hear them. I really recommend that you guys use a privacy tone. I really like not hearing random radio chatter and people that I have no connection with. Enjoy the silence. So I mentioned a minute ago that there are 22 channels allocated to FRS and GMRS. So how then does a Rocky Talkie have 128 channels? It's actually pretty simple and pretty brilliant all at the same time. What the manufacturer has done is matched the first 22 channels of this radio to the standard 22 channels of any other FRS and GMRS radio. And then starting with channel 23 through 128, the channel automatically has a privacy tone built in. And all you have to do is match that number on both Rocky Talkies and you're set. You match those two numbers, you don't have to worry about anything else. Oh, one last quick feature for you. With this radio, when I push the push to talk, it beeps. But I've turned it off on that one. Let me show you how to do that. While you're turning the radio on, press and hold the push to talk button. It's on, battery percentage. Look at that, no more beep. If you have any further questions, um, there are plenty of videos on YouTube on how to uh, set your radio for specific privacy tones, and you can always go to the manual for your radio to figure out what codes correlate to the Rocky Talkies. I'll put a link below to the Rocky Talkie manual so that you can see what their privacy codes are and how to match them to your friend's radios. Keep it simple. Buy a Rocky Talkie. Don't worry about the codes. Well, that's all I got for you today. Sorry if that was a little bit boring. Trust me, this is the fifth attempt at making this video. The first two were a real snooze fest.